Good morning, welcome to my channel, Fatsy Keto. My friends call me a jelly. I've lost 181 pounds on a ketogenic journey. This year is about getting the last 50 pounds off. And will those pounds move? We'll see. Inches have moved in the last seven plus months now, but not the scale. The scale actually went up. So, I guess the inches are better than uh, going down than going up. So that makes me happy. At least it didn't follow the scale, right? Okay, so first thing this morning, I am going to show you what I had for breakfast. That's right, I've had breakfast, and I've been up since 7 a.m. It is 10 a.m. I'm about to have my morning breakfast, my usual pancakes, and for microwave bacons, I've tried some xanthan gum this time to kind of thicken these up. I'll see, tell you if they have any texture change or taste change. I'm also still on my first collagen coffee of the morning, and I've been up since 7 a.m. All right, so I'm in your setup here, and I'm trying to get comfortable and figure out where to put the camera. Um, I don't really have anything on the wall yet, just one little picture that I was trying to see how low, um, like what exactly will be in the frame before I stick stuff up there. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of my desk setup and I guess um, put it in the video or add it to it just so y'all can see what I did um, with under $200 and I included my chair. Uh, so I'm really excited, this is different. I'm used to having a recliner and the recliner is sitting on the other side of the living room waiting to get out of the house because the doctor said it was not good for me. It was causing me a lot of pain in my neck and stuff. I'm trying to get used to these chairs though. I feel like, I don't know, like I can't get comfortable because I'm so used to big giant recliners. And yeah, just getting used to it. So you saw what I had for breakfast. I decided even though it was earlier than I have been eating breakfast that my new rule is to eat breakfast every morning um, with my first collagen coffee. So since it was time for my coffee, it was time for some breakfast. I will have to admit, I'm pretty thirsty today. It's like 12 here, but um, I don't know why I'm thirsty, but it doesn't feel like my blood sugar is high. It doesn't feel like I have too much insulin or anything in my body. I feel amazing other than I'm a little thirsty, but I have been working really hard and the temperature today is 66 and we had snow a few days ago. Gotta love North Carolina weather. So, um, I've been doing laundry all day, cleaning, uh, rearranging everything because I made a big mess to put all this here. I just realized too while I'm talking that my hair is like the color of my curtains. <sighs> my hair matches my curtains. This morning I had some time to kill, so I decided to use my little blow dryer that's kind of like got curling iron, but a blow dryer, so it's not iron, it's like got the round brushy, and I dried all my hair for a change. I usually do not dry it, I just let it dry itself and then I straighten it. I did this for a change. It looks kind of poofy. I don't know if I like it yet or not, but I wanted something different than just pulling it back like I have been the last week or so. Um, yeah, I can't believe I matched the curtain so well. I might have to scoot the camera that way so we don't get the curtain all in it so you know where my hair starts. I'm also having a lot of trouble knowing where to look for some reason with the camera like this. It's driving me nuts. Um, I just think it's the angle I have it at or something, so I gotta play with that. So on my ketogenic journey, I have had a lot of ups and downs. I better tell you how much I weigh. Let me show you the clip because if anyone's reading the board behind me, they probably already know the answer. You read it right. 197.6. Oh, out of those 198s. This could be a good thing. I'm not getting excited yet because this happened a few weeks ago and then I went back up. So we're going to see what happens. Um, what have I done differently? If this is have broken my stall, what is it? Well, I did have my two collagen coffees yesterday. So it wasn't from giving up collagen. It's from having breakfast. Like that's what I've done different is 
I am having breakfast every morning. I am only intermittent fasting a max of 15 hours. I am having my most of my calories, most of my fat, all in my breakfast. Then at dinner, I am having boneless, skinless chicken breast that has been sp sprayed with a tiny bit of olive oil. It has been cooked in a ninja food, foodie grill with turmeric, cumin, and salt, and a little cinnamon. So my dinner is protein, like very heavy base dinner, and this is the second day in a row I have done this, and my weight has gone down some each day so far. I'm also not having any cravings at night. I am not reaching for pork rinds. I am not reaching for those little slim fast bombs, which that was new. That was only the last two weeks. Um, it wasn't in the rest of my diet, and so it wasn't what was stalling me, because those were new items, and I was still, you know, basically the same. So, it's, cr I have no cravings right now. I'm not getting hungry in the day, because I had a very fatty breakfast. My ketones, I forgot to record, but they are 1.0. So my ketones are high now after eating my breakfast, which would be because it's a lot of fat I'm taking in. I'm full all day long up until dinner, lean protein, lots of lean protein, like nine, 10 ounces of chicken breast. That is a lot of protein at once. Um, I had to force myself to eat it last night. It was really hard. I wanted to stop at five. Um, got to six and then I waited like 30 minutes and ate the last um, three ounces. The reason I'm forcing myself to eat so much protein is I feel better, my glucose seems to work better, everything in my body seems to function better when I have at least that much protein a day, which I can't even look at my macros right now because it's on my phone because I could tell you what it was yesterday. Actually, I probably can. Let me pull it up real fast. Give me a second. Give me a second, because now that I have a computer in front of me, I can look whenever I want, once I remember where I stuck it. Okay, so my macros yesterday is 141 protein. I like to be the 150s. I had been having a lot of trouble when I wasn't eating um, this amount of protein, like boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I was having trouble getting to 80 protein. But boneless, skinless chicken breast gets me where I need to be because I don't want to be over, I want to be under 80 grams like a fat a day. But I'm okay if I go to 90. Prefer to be under. So yesterday I was 84 grams of protein and I'm only 10 total carbs, people. I am kicking butt on the carb part because other than the one tablespoon of the coconut flour that I'm having and um, my coffees, I'm not having carbs right now. I don't need the carbs right now. I'm not eating vegetables, I'm not eating fruits. I'm taking my magnesium, I'm getting plenty of sodium, potassium comes from my meat. Um, I don't even need the syrup for the pancakes. I prefer it without it as long as I put the donut extract in it. Also, I said I was gonna tell you if I liked the xanthan gum. It was weird at first. The texture's changed a little. If you've ever eaten Good D's almond pancakes, it kind of reminded me of that texture a tiny bit, but not exactly. I need to buy some baking powder because I wanna try it with the xanthan gum and the baking powder. Because if I do it like I've been doing it, it's crepey instead. It's not a pancake I should be calling the morning crepes because they're extremely flat. The xanthan gum thickened it up and it stayed thickened up, like it raised. And that's what the um, baking powder should do too without giving it the strange texture. It was not unedible at all. It kind of reminded me of a donut texture, believe it or not. So, the day before, I had 10 total carbs as well, 77 fat grams, that's more like it, and 119 protein, so it's still low. But as long as my protein's over 77, that's how much I need um, to not lose muscle mass and not lose my hair and everything else. Um, so right now it's been gravy. I've had two amazing days in a row of my um, 
everything going where it needs to be. And I think that's what I need. I think I need the 150 protein, the 80 or less fat grams, and the 11 carbs or less total, which is hard. It is, it is hard. I will admit that. Give me one second. Great. So today, sorry, the phone drives me crazy. It says people's names, so I always have to stop um, filming when <laughs> it's ringing. Today I have to run to Ultra Beauty, pick up my foundation. I am completely out. I used a different one um, by e.l.f. today that was on clearance at um, Walmart for like $2. So I got it to try, but it's darker. You can't really see. Yeah, you can. It's darker than I am. So that's one reason my hair is down to try to hide it. But it's all I had in the house to use today because mine ran out and they didn't have any in stock. I had to wait for it to come in. So that's why we'll be doing today. It was supposed to be cleaning and putting this desk together, but it came in last night. So it's very excited and worked my little butt off doing it. Um, done tons of laundry. Oh my goodness. I am the person who don't like to mix my colors or fabrics. So my laundry gets very backed up because I'm not going to pay to do a load of laundry for five items. I wear a lot of black. So usually by the end of the week, I have a huge black load. Okay, I wear black tank tops day and night. I change them. I wear a different one when I leave the house. I put a different one on when I after my shower. I have black pants. I almost said up the ass. Well, I did say it. <laughs> I have tons of black pants. I have black socks. Like, I get a load every day, like once a week for that. But my pinks and um, other materials and sweaters, because you can't mix um, silts with sweaters, well, fake silts. So I get backed up on laundry. I probably do laundry once a month because of that reason, because I don't want to do baby loads. I'd rather do a filled load of each color in each fabric. Um, I know a lot of men are probably shaking their head like my boyfriend does. And like, what are you talking about? Just throw it all in there. Uh, yeah, if I'm going to destroy my glues, okay, each one gets washed differently and material will rub off on the others. And this is why my clothes can last me. Like I have clothes that are really old and they look brand spanking new. Do they fit me anymore? Uh, no, no, they swallow me, but I keep them around just to remind me. And I like that sweater thing I showed y'all in the past. Um, I wear that sucker all the time. I don't care if it's like a blankie. It reminds me where I was, where I never want to go back, and it keeps me warm. So, uh, <laughs> <coughs> well, I hope I'm not getting my daughter's sickness. I keep having this cough the last two days. Cross fingers. She is still sick, but she has to go back to school tomorrow. So, hopefully the pharmacy gets her meds in today because she was supposed to have a day of her meds before going back to school and that's not gonna happen because they were out of stock. What else? I wanted to discuss something else and I've been writing stuff down, but guess how stupid I am? Mm-hmm. I write it down on my phone and guess what? I film on my phone. <laughs> it's not like I can reach over and see what I wrote down to talk about. So, that's going to be fixed really soon because I got me some sticky notes. Yup, I got me, uh, these were all my daughters and she has not been using them. So they are mine now. And I got me these little cards, right? Little notes. Like, I got all kind of stuff. So she's had them for, I don't know, two plus years, never used them. I'm like, mommy, I'll take them. Mommy will use them and not seem so stupid in my videos anymore. So I did buy a painting for up here, but I'm afraid I'm going to hit it with my desk over and over again. So I was thinking of just buying vinyl sayings. I don't know if you can see the one that's down here. Bless this home with love and laughter. Um, but I was thinking about just getting some pretty flower vinyl sayings from up there so I don't hit it off. Yes, this is a keto channel, but today is more like let me ramble and talk about my life day. Um, yeah, I'm ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up. I will show you my dinner tonight, which will probably be what I've been having, my chicken strips. Um, if you don't know, cumin, um, 
how did I forget the name? Turmeric, there we go, and cinnamon. Great for blood sugars, great for inflammation. It is extremely healthy if you get the pure organic. Don't go to the Dollar Tree and buy it and expect to get all the healthy benefits of it, unfortunately. The truth is turmeric is better if it's not even in the um, powder form. It's better if you can take it in those special kind of pills, um, but they're very expensive, so I get it from my, yeah, whatever comes from the powder I throw on there. I get the best I can find and that I can afford. So I am going to shut up now. I will show you my dinner in a little bit and uh, drink my water because I'm only doing two coffees a day and I don't want to drink my last coffee yet seeing it's only 12. Right, I'm gonna show y'all my little setup real fast. So this desk was like $85 on Amazon. It's 55 inches. Um, this was my Yeti mic I got for Christmas. Um, yeah, I love my little Mad Hatter. My Groot Rainbow Bright, showing my age. Um, that was the webcam that came with the Yeti mic. Come around here. This was my chair I got for like $100. I already had the stand. It was just somewhere else, so I put it over here to hold all my little stuff I have. That's my portal that I love to death, but doesn't always work and drives me crazy. And then I have, this is why I used to have my monitor on. <laughs> it went over my recliner, it's just a hospital table. So I put it there to hold this. As you can see, my weight so far is doing good this week. I'm excited about that. This was the picture I got, not the um, the beach one, but this other one. But it is, I'm afraid I'm gonna hit it with that chair over and over again. I might lower it down a little and see, but this wall is definitely not done. That's just hanging pictures so I don't break them anywhere else. I'm still gonna fix my uh, living room all up, but this is my little setup. I know weird to be in a living room like this, but like I said, it's really only me and my daughter here. Um, I have a couch over there, which I need to fix the blankies and make it look better. Got to get that recliner out of here. Everything's trash right now. But yeah, so I got me a view out the window. Got curtains that match my hair. So I guess we're set up. All right, I'm going to try to eat nine and a half ounces of chicken. I use cumin, turmeric, and Himalayan salt. And it's grilled up in my Ninja Foodi once again. All right, so I just had my dinner. I'm sticking to just two coffees, so I'm on to my water. It is very hard. I like to have a coffee with my dinner. So I'm struggling right this minute. Um, I ended up only eating eight and a half of those ounces, I think. Um, I left some of that meat on my plate. Not a whole lot, but some. So, yeah, we're going to see tomorrow how my weight does. I'm hoping it goes down more, especially wanting a coffee and not drinking another coffee. I want to be rewarded for my effort of sustaining for my third cup of coffee. So, Skell, you better reward me tomorrow because I really want that coffee.